In this quick After Effects tutorial, I'll show you how to create glowing animated text that instantly grabs attention. No plugins, just a clean and powerful design. Whether it's for reels, shorts, or social posts, this effect will take your visuals to the next level. Let's roll the intro. Let's get started by opening After Effects and creating a brand new composition. Because this project is meant for social media reels, I'm selecting the Social Media Portrait HD preset with a frame rate of 30 frames per second and setting the duration to 20 seconds. Once your composition is ready, create a new solid layer and name it Background. Choose any color you like for now and hit OK. Now go to the Effects and Presets panel and search for the four color gradient effect. Apply it to the background layer and begin adjusting the gradient points to get a vibrant and dynamic color mix. Once done, press S on the keyboard to bring up the scale property. Unlink the scale proportions and reduce the size to around 12%. After scaling it down, right-click the layer and choose to pre-compose it. Name this new comp color and make sure to move all attributes into the new composition. Now head back to the effects and presets and search for turbulent displace. Apply it to the color layer and tweak the settings. Set the amount to around 285 and the size to approximately 204. This will create a smooth animated distortion effect. At the first frame, add a keyframe to the offset property. Then go to the last frame of your timeline and change the offset value to animate the texture. This will give your background a flowing, energetic movement. To soften everything, search for the Fastbox Blur effect and apply it just below the turbulent displace in the effects stack. Increase the blur radius to about 80 to get a glowing, dreamy look. Now we have this nice flowing background, but it still feels a bit flat. To enhance the look, let's apply some glow to it. Head to the Effects and Presets panel, search for the glow effect, and apply it just below the Fastbox blur in the Layers effect stack. Start by increasing the glow radius to a higher value so the glow spreads out smoothly. One important thing to note is that your project should be set to 16 bits per channel. This helps avoid color banding and gives a smoother result, especially with glow and blur effects. Once the glow is applied, minimize the effects panel to keep things clean. For an extra creative touch, search for the invert effect and apply it to the same layer. This creates an interesting contrast and color combination. I personally like this inverted look, but feel free to skip it or adjust it to your own color preference. Now, if you feel like the animation of the background is not dynamic enough, Go back to the first frame, open the turbulent displace effect, and tweak the amount and size values. You can get a completely different movement and texture just by slightly adjusting these settings. Once you're happy with the background, it's time to add the text. I'm using the Poppins font at a size of 117, but you can scale it up depending on how prominent you want your text to be. Type your text and align it to the center of the screen. For animation, move to the one second mark, then press P to bring up the position property and add a keyframe. Go back to the first frame and change the Y position value to push the text down so it slides in from below. Then press T to bring up opacity, add a keyframe to it, then press U to reveal all keyframes and place this opacity keyframe at this mark. Now at the first frame, change the opacity value to 0%. Let's place the second opacity keyframe at the half second mark and now we have this nice fade in effect. Now select all the keyframes, press F9 to apply Easy Ease, and open the graph editor. Adjust the curves to create a smooth entrance motion, so your text slides in and fades beautifully onto the glowing animated background. Now we've got a basic animation in place, but let's make it look even better. If you're not seeing the Motor Switches tab in your timeline, just right-click on the Layer Panel area, go to Columns, and enable both Mode and Switches, because we'll be using them shortly. Now, for a more dynamic visual style, change the blend mode of the text layer to Difference or Overlay. Each mode creates a different kind of contrast and can bring a unique vibe to your design. After that, turn on Motion Blur for the text layer to give it a nice smooth trailing effect. You'll immediately notice the animation looks more polished. Of course, if the animation feels too slow or too fast, simply select your keyframes and drag them closer together to speed things up or further apart to slow it down. I like the pacing I've got here, so I'll move on to the next step, which is adding a second animation. Start by making sure you're at the first frame, then select your text layer and hit P to bring up the position property. Add a keyframe at the beginning, move to the two second mark and change the X position to shift the text out of the frame. 
Open the graph editor and adjust the motion curve for a smooth and natural movement. This way, the text appears, holds for a moment, then gracefully slides out to the left. Find the middle point between the two keyframes, move the playhead there, and press Alt plus the closing bracket key to trim the text layer at that point. Now it's time to bring in the second line of text. Select the text tool again, type in your next line, and set the font size to around 90. Align it to the center, then head to the position in the timeline where you want the second text to appear. Press P to open the position property, add a keyframe right there, and set a new position to slide it in from the right. Again, use F9 to ease the keyframes and fine-tune the curve in the graph editor to give it a professional flow. Once the second text has animated in, you can trim its layer in the same way as before using the Alt Bracket method. Don't forget to turn on Motion Blur for this new text layer as well. Trim out this layer to cut it at the action. This way we can match cut both text layers. Then switch its blend mode to overlay for a consistent and vibrant look. And that's it for this animation. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, good luck and peace.